Hello, my beautiful, lovely people. Happy Thursday. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hello, my beautiful, lovely people. Look at this, y'all. Y'all, excuse me. I'm taking down my braids next week. And so your girl just fit any protective style that I can use to make these braids just, you know, laugh. But anywho, <laughs> anywho, yeah. So, but um, I just want to hop on here and bless you all with the daily devotion for today. I apologize, I'm a little late. Sometimes I've been getting up a little late. Lord Jesus, help me. Okay, so, but the daily devotion for today is titled, Believe Him. Believe Him. Believe Him. And um, it's coming from Mark 11 and 23. There's a the scripture that goes with this is Mark 11 and 23. And it reads, Whosoever say to this mountain, be taken up and cast into the sea, does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says is going to happen. It would be granted to him. And this is like, I believe this is like a, um, it's in the NIV version. It's not, I don't believe, it's, this is not the King James version. So it might read different when you read it. And so the devotion read, there is a spiritual principle that will cause positive, powerful changes in your life. If you apply it diligently through it, your prayer life, conversation with other peoples, and how God works through you will be transformed. The principle, believe God, do not doubt what he says. In today's verse, Jesus spoke about moving mountains, obstacles in your life, and no, bulldo no bulldozer or Dynamic, dynamic could possibly budge. However, these mountains are opportunity for your faith. So consider how you respond to him. Perhaps when you face such challenges, you tell God what you want, what you want him to do. Discuss it with friends or go to counselors for advice. You do all you know to do, but the mountain still stands. In fact, it seems to become larger more overwhelming and increasing immovable at times passes the problem is that you try to move it in your sprint as the lord instructs instructs in psalm 46 and 10 cease scribing and knowing that i am god resist temptation to conclude that he isn't in the mountain the mountain and consider let me go back yeah resist the temptation to conclude that he isn't in the mountain moving business any longer Instead, choose to trust that if he say he will help you, he absolutely will. Stop doubting and believe him. And then there's a scripture that goes with this and it reads, Jesus, I praise you for moving this mountain. Amen. Amen. And so um, as I um was reading this, um, as I was reading this devotion, what came to my mind was like, um, what came to my mind is a song, and it's by um, Marvin Sapp. This song is by Marvin Sapp, and it's titled, I Believe. He said, I believe in your promises. I believe in your word. I believe that your word is true. And then it said, if anybody out there believe in God, you know, he's saying, you know, I believe. He kept saying, I believe. I believe in you. I believe your word is true. So if uh, God has told you something, have spoken something to you, believe him. Believe him, believe him, and trust him at his word, and wait for him. Wait for it to um, wait for it to come to pass. If God spoke, if God said it, you know, God said it, it's gonna happen. He spoke it to you, it's gonna come to pass. You know, you have to believe him and trust him at his word. He tell you, I'm going to heal you. Believe him at his word. If he said, um. I'm going to bless you. Believe him. Trust him. Believe him at his word. You know, he said, my word would not come back to me, boy. You know, I said it. I spoke it. Now, all I need you to do is believe it. Believe that you're going to be healed. Believe that you're going to be delivered. Believe. Believe. You have to believe. Okay? So, but I pray that this daily devotion is blessing you that you as you go on about your daily task to be encouraged, to be encouraged and to know that you say, God spoke this to me. God told me he's going to do it. He told me he's going to do it. He told me he's going to bless my finance. He told me that he's going to heal me. He told me he's going to help me. He told me that he would never leave me or forsake me. 
believe him. You have to believe and trust him at his word. There's so many times some people, um, the problem is like they don't see things happen or deserve, but they see the results and see things that, because did you, but did you believe? Did you believe? I shared this so many times on my video and my videos how like, um, and I'm going to say it again because this needs to be said because it said believe him. And so um, before I moved, before I moved, um, you know, God told me, like, you know, I was going to move. He told me I was going to move. He told me to prepare. And so that's what I did. Me and my girls, we just we just buying up stuff for the house, buying up stuff. And we had it stored away. So, you know, when it's time, when it do come. And so it got to the point where it's that I'm going to say, like, I had some doubt. I had some doubts. So God knew that I had some doubts. And so what he did, he said, you know what? I got to let her, I got to give her a promise word. I got to give her a promise word. I need to give her a word so she know that, you know, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do, I'm going to say what I said I'm going to do. I'm going to do it. And so he did. And the word that he gave me was a promise is a promise. A promise is a promise, Melissa. So when he gave me that, like so many times I would hear, like, you know, Melissa, I'm going, hey, I'm going to move you. It's going to happen. So I would hear this and I'm like, okay, but I need something. You know, I really need something else. So this time when he spoke this, it was like when he spoke it, like it was like really like it really like it was really like I like I promise this is it. Like, hey, a promise is a promise. I said I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. That's it. And so when he spoke that word to me, I held on to it. I held on to it. I said, okay, God is going to do it. God is going to do it. He's going to do it. I told my girls, I said, he told me a promise. It's a promise. Every time I would go and get on my knees and I would pray and I'm like, okay, Lord. And he said, I promise. That's all he would tell me. It was nothing else. It was no, Melissa, I'm going to do it. I said, I'm going to do it. It was, you know, he, it was like, that's it. Like, I promise it's a promise. Every time it came to my man, I was like, oh, Lord, I need to move. I'm ready to move. He said, I promise. That's it. That's all. All he would give me. A promise is a promise. And so I held on to that. And sure enough, sure enough, February 2024, the Lord, he moved me. So I just want to encourage you on today. Believe him, trust him at his word. Whatever guy, he, if he's spoken a promise word to you like he did me, hold on to that. Hold on to that word. Hold on to that word right now. He just wants you to believe him. Do you believe? Believe him. Like the devotion saying, believe him. He, all he wants you to do is believe him. He told you, I'm going to heal him. I'm going to bless you. I'm going to do this. Believe him. Believe him. So that's all I have for now. I pray that you all was blessed by this devotion on believe him. Until next time, it's your girl, Melissa. God bless.